bad boy out. Hell yeah. I got the Testo 550. Um, yeah, this is that deluxe kit you were telling me about, Dallas. It's got the uh, the two clamps, the two temperature clamps. This is a 20-year-old Kenmore here. And uh, we're looking for 22.2. Let's see what we get. Well, looky there. All right, so we're back to the sub cooling. 9.7. Let's see what she's going to do here. She's kind of fluctuating between 9 and 10. Of course, that TXV is opening. It's about 90, 93 degrees out here today. I'm very happy with this. Man, I love my Test 0550. Hey, Christy, can you turn it back on for me? Yeah, I sure will. And pull it. While you're looking at that, can I put you on hold for just a second? Yes, uh-huh. All right. Not you, friends. I've got an insurance guy. Oh. I'm trying to get a little bit of work done, so i got an insurance company on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so turn it on. Yeah, hold it down as low as you can. On the pool. Yes, ma'am. Sucks. Yeah, we need to get you a new thermostat. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sound like the compressor kick. Awesome. awesome. Okay. Well, let, let me. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang with it just for a few minutes, and then uh, okay. then I'll get back with you here. Just did was I went inside. I got my wet bulb and uh, came out here. Got my dry bulb. I got my pressures off my unit and my temperature's off my unit, and it says you're currently operating at superheat of 13. Recommended superheat is 13. All right, guys, I just wanted to put that in there. It's kind of bright out here. I don't think you can see it. But uh, anyway, guys, we, uh, we're we running dead at 13, guys. Ain't that something? All right, y'all. I can't thank y'all enough for watching my videos, and I reckon we're going to holler at y'all soon. All right, guys, hey guys thank you so much. Christy. Hey, uh, just to let you know, Fritz Rochester has been awesome for my offices. We have three different offices, and Fritz, if I call him, he is there within a matter of hours, always returning my phone calls promptly, does great service, gets me taken care of in next to no time, and it's so reasonably priced, I couldn't couldn't beat it. I appreciate what you do, Fritz. Thank Looks you. like we got a bad thunderstorm getting ready to move in, but uh, uh, back when I did Carl's unit, um, I actually was using a uh, analog gauges, and uh, it's actually requiring 11 deg degrees subcooling. We're going to have to hurry up. It's, it's starting to lighten and everything else. But uh, anyway, guys, check this out, guys. Old school. We're at 11.1. It's been running for a good 15 minutes. We're good to go. We're buttoning her up. We're getting ready to All right, break Carl, the storm off. I reckon we're done here today, buddy. Yes, sir. Right downtown, Bruno. I think we got her dialed in. We got we got your 11. And uh, I think we're tight. We got her good and clean. And uh, next 98 models, so we're roughly about 18 years old. What I merely did was I came in, I, I slapped on a uh, uh, capacitor here, and uh, we've got uh, 45.5. I had five uh, microfarads on the fan side, 45 on the perm side, and I went ahead and I installed a kickstart. As soon as I put the kickstart on, the, the compressor immediately fired up. All right, guys, we're uh, low on refrigerant All right, guys, let me here. Go ahead and add a little bit uh, of refrigerant, and we're going to get this thing to 13 degrees superheat, and uh, we're going to get this puppy up and going. All right, guys, just bear with me. All right, guys, I was looking for 13 degrees uh, superheat. She's kind of fluctuating in between 12 and 13, 14 or so, but. I'm allowed plus or minus five on my, my superheat here. It's a fixed orifice system. So I think I've got her dialed in pretty daggone good, y'all. Um, guys, let me uh, get buttoned up here, and we're going to get right back with you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, it's been cycled off, and we're on to the next one. All right, guys, I appreciate you all stopping in and, and visiting with me over on Rochester Heat and Air's YouTube channel, and I welcome you all back anytime. And I hope from time to time I'll shoot a few for y'all. Introducing the highly anticipated Next Generation 550 with free Bluetooth link app, which can be easily downloaded from... <laughs>
what I found on the front porch today, guys. I want to share this with all my friends. Look at here, look at here. What we have here is the brand new, the brand spanking new, in the box, Testo 550 Next Generation Digital Manifold with Bluetooth capabilities. I can't wait to get after this, guys. Along with that, we have the Testo 540. Hey, y'all, we went ahead and we got the Testo 550 unboxed here, our brand spanking new Testo 550 Next Generation digital refrigeration manifold with Bluetooth capabilities, guys. We went in and got in unboxed. Uh, guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, I've been rocking the Testo 550 for well over five years, and uh, guys, I'm here to tell you, it's been, been one of the most dependable tools that I have in my HVAC arsenal, guys. I love the Testo. I love everything Testo makes, guys. Uh, along with that, we've got uh, a Testo 549 here, and this is going to be my backup. I've already got it sitting on a hanger. I'm going to leave it in the box until I'm ready to, ready to rock with it. But uh, anyway, guys, I, I wanted to show you the Testo 550, just the application of it real quick. Um, I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot more to come with this thing, guys. But uh, what I've done here was I went ahead and I opened up my app on my, uh, on my Testo here. From, which I downloaded from the Google Play Store. Uh, basically what we want to do is go ahead and fire, fire up the uh, 550 here. All right. Now, what we're looking for is a Bluetooth icon. Right up here, it's going to be right beside the battery. Now let's make sure our temperature probes are working here. Okay, and they are. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is it's saying it's it's saying choose device i don't know if y'all can see that or not choose device choose device all right well it's not recognizing anything what it is we don't have the bluetooth turned on on the testo 550 itself and this is so simple it's just your up and down arrow keys for approximately i don't know three seconds maybe let's see one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand there we go we're up let's go ahead and bring it back over to our temperature there we go there we go all right guys now what it's done on my phone here is it's saying uh, choose the device to connect with. And right here we have the Testo 550. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, now we're up and running, guys. There we go. There's all our information there. And as you can see, we got T1 67.5 and T2 67.4. All right, guys, we're, we're good to go here. Things actually got trending on it as well, but we're going to go into more detail with that as well, too. And you have just so many. It's got well over 60, I guess, 60 refrigerants on here. And uh, you can actually, with this app, you can actually email it to someone. So... Basically, you know, you you have the you can email a PDF, a CSV, Excel, and there's your trending. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with y'all real quick. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a really, really great go-to tool, and uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot more to come with it. Um, guys, I can't thank you enough for watching my video. Testo 550 and I believe I've got a video from like I said seven or eight years ago where um, I was rocking this thing when I bought it at the Johnstone and I think back then that uh, actually uh, T-Stat Tech uh, Jason and uh, Dizzy Dallas Dallas and me uh, Fritz Rochester uh, we were the only ones rocking the Testo 550 back then and uh, there was a lot of controversy going on if y'all remember have been around that long uh, that you know People didn't even like digital back then. It was all analog, but you know, things, the games have even changed even more, even what I'm getting ready to show y'all here in just a minute. But uh, I'm here to tell you, I've never had a problem with my Testo 550. This thing has been a workhorse, a phenomenal workhorse, guys. But uh, anyway, I wanted to share those with you. And uh, let me uh, let me show you what I, what I wanted to, uh, what Testo sent me. All right, guys. Well, all right, guys. This is what I wanted to, to share with my friends out there. Uh, basically, this is my new Team Testo customized case where I can carry around both of my manifolds, my Testo manifolds, in one case, and it'll be easy to get to, and I won't have to go searching for anything. But uh, basically, guys, that's that Voyager case that I was showing earlier. And uh, guys, I love these cases. They're, they're inexpensive, they're rugged, and the bonus is they're lightweight. But uh, let's hop in this thing and see what we got.
All right, guys, take a peek at that, man. This is what I wanted to show y'all and share with you. Um, basically, I've got uh, 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 Testo diagnostic equipment in here, uh, and basically what I have is uh, two uh, refrigeration manifolds in one case. And uh, guys, I just love the Testo lineup. And um, what we're looking at right here is the Testo 550 uh, next generation uh, Bluetooth uh, 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 refrigeration manifold. And uh, I just love this thing, guys. And it actually works with an app that you can get right off of Google Play and put on your, on your phone here, on your smartphone. But uh, anyway, guys, the second manifold, I have the smart probe set up with uh, the uh, temperature probes. And basically what you're looking at right here, guys, is the Testo 549Is, and these are my pressure probes. And I've actually went ahead and I put my T's on here. This way I can, like, add refrigerant or reclaim refrigerant if I need be. And uh, what you're looking at here is our uh, Testo 115Is, and this is going to be our temperature clamps. They're going to go on our copper. And, uh, guys, I just love this setup. And what we're looking at right here, guys, is the uh, Testo 605Is. And... I'm sure these are a wonderful idea and everything, but uh, guys, if you know me, I, I like to mod stuff a little bit, and by no means did Testo, you know, tell me to do this or anything like that. I took this upon my own, so if you do this yourself, that's what you're doing. You're going to be taking it upon your own, but I'm here to tell you they work. I'll, I'll actually show you they work, but uh, the magnets are pretty strong, and they'll stick up in there, and this way, I, all I got to do is I got like a, well, I'll show you right now. Um, what I actually did, too, is I, I cut another hole in my case here, and I picked up one of these uh, DeWalt boxes. I'm sure you've seen me utilize these before, but it makes great, uh, great storage. And uh, basically what I have here, guys, is uh, I've got my unit bit, and this is what I'm going to be utilizing to uh, drill the holes in for my uh, Testo uh, 605Is here. And these caps that I have in here fit it perfectly. This way I don't have to interchange anything. And uh, what you're looking at here right here, guys, is these, uh, basically these are micron gauge couplers. You can get them at any Johnstone. I like to have these on hand. They'll actually join right in here to my pressure probes like so, so I can connect directly onto the unit. And this, uh, like I said, this port here will be for adding our, our, uh, our uh, reclaiming refrigerant. But uh, Anyway, guys, got a few uh, fuses, got some caps, got some trader cores, uh, got a miscellaneous uh, uh, wire nuts here, and, uh, of course, some more caps and everything. you got to get these caps, guys, because whenever you drill them holes, you want to make daggone sure that you, uh, you know, you cap it. But, uh, guys, I think everything fits in here snug as a bug in a rug, and if I do need anything else, man, I'll just go out and grab my beat up.